She's not the only teacher that is being called a hero, though. Now, back here in Austin, there's a teacher at Barbara Jordan Elementary School. He saved a student who had something similar happen to him. Nabil Ramanda introduces us to both of them. There's always a few teachers we remember years down the line. Do, do you think we're going to need this information? No. No? What about this one? No. Maybe their class was fun or there was a special connection. And I don't have kids on my own, but I always tell them, like, you know, you are my kids. I care for you. And at Barbara Jordan Elementary. And I learn a lot every single day. You could say fifth grade teacher Jose Rodriguez will be a name Mario Don Juan never forgets. I was pretty surprised when I started choking. I, what to, I thought to myself that I was going to die right there. Don Juan tried to peel the cap off the top of a water bottle with his mouth, but it got stuck in his throat. What they tend to do is like they open the bottle slightly and then they put it in their mouth and sometimes they try to put pressure to catch it with their mouth or just for the water to come out through the sides. So that's what happened. In the middle of a lesson, Rodriguez saw his student gasping for air and immediately went into action, performing the Heimlich maneuver. So I tried it several times and it was not working uh, and I got worried about his safety. But he didn't give up. After moving his arms higher up, he was able to finally dislodge the object. I didn't even notice when it came out. I just turned around and, and I told him he said out and he was just like nodding with his head. Mario lucky to have such a fast acting teacher. Then he stepped in and saved my life. He's also lucky Rodriguez had prior training in the life saving action. Training he hopes all teachers will get. Like I said, like I'm happy I was able to react. Glad to see a good outcome there. Mario says he no longer opens water bottles the same way. It's also important to note that with COVID-19, many of the students, they had the water bottles in the class because a lot of those drinking fountains mm. were closed down. So, and the other thing is it's great that he knew how to do the Heimlich maneuver. Oh my goodness. And it shows you how important it is to know that. Yes. I loved how in your story you said, you know, I don't have kids, but my students are my kids. And it's so yeah. true. Yeah. I'm yeah. so and happy he was there. Like a parent, that's sort of what you would do is just Absolutely. like, okay, here we Sprinted go. over when he saw the kid choking. Thank so. you, Nabil.